Patriot Electric is the go-to provider of high-quality electrical services on the North Shore. Their licensed and dedicated team will make work on your home a breeze. From commercial to residential and industrial, Patriot has you covered. New construction, renovations, maintenance, power distribution or fire alarms, call 781-842-6669 today. It's Monday! This guy can breathe a little easier on Mondays. I love your ideas, and you're very creative. Extremely creative. Well, I'm creative, but I have a creative team that helps me be creative. But I'm a little f***ed up, and they can't believe I don't smoke pot, and I don't. How do you not smoke pot? I don't smoke pot. And they're very shocked at that, that I don't smoke marijuana or do hatchish. You know, it's just I don't do that crap, but I mean, I just have a, I have a lot of mental problems. We all have mental problems, so don't worry. What are some of yours? Oh man, I worked in corrections, so I have a lot. Still? You still doing it? I'm retired now. You retired young? Yes. What, what, what happened? Would you, what happened? Would you bang one of your co-workers? Uh, what no, I didn't do that. Monday! Sometimes I drive around with just a hard hat on. Well, I mean, I got clothes on, but with a hard hat on, okay? No rhyme or reason, I just do it. It's in my truck, I might as well put it to use. And I look tough. Sick of being a pansy. This guy talks to the mic. Listen, uh, I know how to talk on the mic. Uh, you. By the way, thank you. I love your jacket. <laughs> the heart was over the top. What about the back? So you dress pretty sharp. Tell me what you do. What's, uh, you, by the way, fashion uh, design? Leve, no, no, no. I am a. Can you take the microphone? Because I'm going to take your job. I am. What a uh, smile this guy's got. This is a handsome bastard, this guy. You are too, and I love your tan. And I love, and you have dimples too. Monday! You know what's great? It pisses off 75% of the people when they see you wearing an I Love Monday shirt on a Monday. They don't like it. They don't like it. You know what? I love it. Good hate Monday. Be a loser. Monday! We love what we do, and. Uh, you know, the for us as the actors here, it's a small community of us, and we try all support each other. Of course. And especially people from you guys in media broadcasting, uh, they give us opportunity to show the people in the world that we really, all our attentions are bringing people together and giving back community. Right. And that's all. He's right. But one thing I'd like to see different is more prominent roles like John's role being cast locally. Right. Instead right. of sending in the West Coast talent, there's a tremendous amount of talent in Boston already, a lot of characters, and let's cast more prominent roles with local guys here. Let me tell you something, I know about 40 people in my family <laughs> that could all be in show business. They're all <laughs> bananas, yeah, that's exactly but they're so creative. Exactly. Butchering these songs, Tonzo. I need Tonzo in here playing the skin flute, the air guitar. You can play a lot of instruments on the steering wheel, by the way. Skin flute, air guitar, drums, bongos, no turn on red, sorry. Monday! So, when did you get out of the newspaper business? Uh, April, last year. Really? So, it's one uh, year? It is, it is. You know what? Did you have a paper route? Wow. Is that what you said? <laughs> Listen, bitch. I'm. A... Hey, listen. I'm his. Right here. I'm his bitch. I am. Right? A... Oh, oh, we can say that. You can say whatever you want. He's my fucking bitch. Not my bitch. My. Bitch. I saw. You know uh, something. But no, no. But listen. If to I me. went that way, just he'd be my guy. Okay. Listen. What? You'd be my guy. I don't have a saying here. Save it to the morning after. I love the singing. How do I sound? Amazing. I'm actually got a pretty good voice sometimes. Once in a while. It depends what kind of music's on. You know, I like Duran Duran. Okay. All right, go ahead. Um, oh, I got to tell you what I want. Monday. Well, thanks for talking to us, man. That's right. We love the show. Check him out, man. It's Mr. Monday. Yes, we that's love this Mr. guy. Monday.
<laughs> Welcome to the I Love Monday show. I'm Carlo, Mr. Monday, and I got John Fury with me tonight. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Once again, every time, I just blew in from the coast again. Where were you? Revere Beach, Bianchi's, three slices. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you go, the new one, Renzo? Yes, I got all one, the new one, whatever. I got all of them. How you feeling? How's your uh, situation Tight, going? Tight, but aggressive. Really? <laughs> <They're> all right. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Because you had a little operation, right? I had a little Roto-Rooter. But don't think that's anybody listening out that's not going to stop me. So if you think I'm finished, you're wrong. <laughs> Try me. What'd they do? They drilled it out? They drilled it out. I stood there. They wanted to give me Novocaine down below. I said, no, 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 no. <laughs> He come at me with a fucking chainsaw, <laughs> but I survived. <laughs> hey, so we got a big event coming up May sixteenth. Do we? Yeah, you're All gonna right. be. You're in it. I'll be there. <laughs> you're part of it. You're one of the main events. I'll be there. Kleski, what do you think? Yeah, May sixteenth at Wicks in Marblehead. It's gonna be a big night. We have John Fury here. We have Tony the Goose Saragusa. Yep. We have Lenny Clark, Don yeah. Zolo, yeah. Mr. Monday. And who's hosting it? What the fuck? Timothy McClaskey. Oh. <laughs> if you come to the show, you can actually see what I look like. Any free prizes? It's going to be everything that you can imagine at this place. This is like Howard Stern's birthday on cocaine with unicorns, and oh, it's, nice. it's going to be wonderful. There's already been 191 tickets sold. That's crazy. Really? Yep. Nice. You can go. You can buy them at the door. You can get them through me. You can get them on uh, Eventbrite. There's a link on our page. And uh, I think there's a heckler out there. It's gonna be a great night. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a great night. Carl, I know we talked about this last week, but I want to update you on this ongoing college uh, admission scandal. Do you recall that? Oh yeah, I remember. Full House Lady. I love it. Apparently, Aunt Becky's husband, the guy that she's married to, that also was involved in the scandal here, his name is Massimo Giuliani. Blame Nero. the Italian. <laughs> He's as Italian as they come. They're blaming like, him. Sick. Yeah. He, uh, this is all right. Is this Italian to you? He he basically robbed his own power, parents. What's he, wrong with that? He lied to them about going to USC and then cashed fake checks and then never went to university. Spoiled Italian kid. He did all right though, didn't he? Did he I, do good in his career? And make money. He's banging on Becky. I don't mean. Listen, they want to blame the fucking some, Italians. I'm sick of it. All yeah. right. First of all, <laughs> anybody that says that's ingenuity, I'm all for it. Fuck the colleges. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll eat syndicated pussy all day. I love it. I wish they got away with it. I want more people to get away with it. What's, Don't stop. What, syndicated pussy? Just stay in college. And, uh, everything. Yeah, why even go? Why pay for that? Massimo. Send him to send him to He's got a great first for the name. week. That's you a good name. King should learn college? a trade. Right. Is being an actor What's a trade? Well, is being an actor a trade, I asked to a much particular audience member. I would call it a craft. <laughs> like building a fucking model airplane. It's for fucking morons. Because <laughs> you sniff the glue. The, what do they call it? Mucilage. <laughs> but this asshole lied to his own parents and took the tuition money and then paid extra to get his own kid into school. That's the dumbest How old's thing I've ever heard How, of. Is that him right there? He's got a nice beard. Yeah. Looks like he has at Alzheimer's, a poor person. He looks like he's fucking <laughs> shell-shocked. Jesus. He's gone, holy fuck, I'm ruined. <laughs> They're not going to get in trouble. They're nothing's going to happen with these people. You don't think so? Absolutely not. No, they get too I think much the money. college people should go to jail. You I, don't, oh, they knew nothing about first it. First of all, there's a whole network of this. Dr. Going Dre on. gave we seventy million donation. What in what's headphones? The, he gave headphones to every university. Seriously, what's the difference? You give an endowment, a donation. Yeah, it's the same thing. What's the difference? Honestly, if my parents bought the medical wing of some new university and I didn't get it in, <laughs> admitted, what, that, that's I'm an Ivy Leaguer. Did you know that? I Bunker know. Hill College. <laughs> I didn't pay a fucking nickel. <laughs> I got in on my own fucking merits. I got all D's from Somerville High. They went, come right in. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> asshole. Who's Miss Monday this week? <laughs> Miss Monday this week is Kylie from West Palm Beach, Florida. Ah! <laughs> this 23-year-old Italian-Irish beauty moved up from north. She moved up north a few years back. She's currently a floral designer. She's recently joined the Monday Movement cult. This Monday is brought to you by John's Roast Beef. Oh, Call 701 595 6105 for the best takeout on the North Shore. Uh, Tasso is not only in studio, but I wanted to give him a quick plug. He has a <coughs> soccer game coming up at the Linfield Middle School. 5 30 p.m. What day is this? Soccer. What? I mean, he's supposed to be like this pro, and he's playing against middle school kids? It's Boston Braves versus the men's vets, so it's Cowboys versus Indians. <laughs> I, I hate soccer. <laughs> We got, you, we got you on that know. one, Tasso. <laughs> Thursday. So if you want to see Tasso, he plays shirtless. It's shirts and really? it's not shirts and skins. He just insists. I played soccer once. I got kicked in the balls. Never went back. 
Really? I don't like it. Did your nuts swell up? I oh, had kind of the opposite experience. Really? Terrible. What, what size are your nuts, like, regularly? Regular? I need a fucking wheelbarrow, okay, <laughs> to lug these nuts around. You kidding me? <laughs> All right, let's shoot the shit. All right. Real life pet cemetery. Dead dog digs out its own grave. Deek, an 18 year old pet dog from eastern Russia, was found dead by its owners. So naturally, they buried it, and then the canine Jesus resurrected itself a day later by digging out of its own grave. They uh, okay. found it exhausted by a highway. It was taken into a shelter. They posted it on Facebook, and the owners found their dead dog. I That's think the dog bu- was playing possum. It's a bunch of bullshit. You it's a staged it? event. They happen to have a fucking camera as the dog fucking came out of the tomb like Christ. <laughs> he just happened to be there. You fucking film it. Then you put it on Facebook. Come YouTube. On. They're trying to get famous. I'm going to bury my fucking grandmother and say, listen, when I go like this, you come out. I'll happen to fucking be there with a camera. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> she rose from the fucking crypt. Horse shit. Bullshit. It's Russians. a bunch of bullshit. Lies. You don't think you could have gotten that dog to wake up if you rubbed it? If you rubbed dick? How about if you like this? <laughs> the dog wakes up. Yeah. I mean, come on. If your dog. I think dead. they wanted a new dog. That's how you <laughs> yeah, get a new a dog, right? It's oh, mom, crap. my iPhone broke. I need the new iPhone. Oh, mom, my puppy broke. I need the new. Where's the dog? Yeah. I buried it alive. I was sick of it. Like the scene of Casino, you were reenacting the scene from Casino at the end. <laughs> no, my brother. Yeah, okay. Listen, <laughs> count to three, start digging out, I'll film it. We can get a lot of hits, make money. Yeah, there's a Bullshit. whole there's a whole tag in, in uh, you porn for that. Russians. <laughs> Conspiracy. Don't buy How it. How do you know when your dick is dead? That's really the summary of that Don't story. Look at me. <laughs> he just got the, he just no. got the roto rooter. He's fine. Don't look at me, I'm traumatized. <laughs> All right, next one. Bizarre moment. Naked burglar breaks into Little League concession stand to grab hot dogs and cash. It was hot out that day. Nude ninja broke into a stand operated in Dundon Little League. It was a baseball oh, league concession guy. stand. Uh, it was back on April 7th. He comes in. He's wearing nothing but a baseball cap. He steals hot dogs and $250 worth of cash. He also created $5,000 worth of damage to this concession stand. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that happened. But, uh, That's insurance scam. He's stealing wieners with his wiener out. He's got the gloves up with his banana out. This is an inside job because how do you know there's two? Who leaves two fifty in a concession stand? That's the kitty. That's the kitty. I like that he had the gloves on, but nothing on the wiener. He doesn't even have pockets. I think he had a car on, John. Why, why had, would you he, go in there naked? He's looking for kids. What's he doing? He's looking for little leaguers with bats. This is this is very disturbing. Did he, he get there and then strip down to go in, or did he? Where did he put the hot dogs that he stole? If he's got no he, pants on, no pockets. I think you know. <laughs> we weren't allowed to show that footage, Carlo, but. I wouldn't eat the hot dogs upon retrieving them. This guy needs a beating. This is obviously a very disturbed individual. Yeah. Who should be fucking put down like that dog. What? (laughs) The most disturbing thing is he didn't grab one pack of Big League Chew or Ring Pop or anything like that. He wanted hot dogs, frozen ones. Yeah. He left a lot of DNA around. Put him up his ass, the fucking guy. (laughs) If he's shedding. All right. Hit the highway. Truck driver finds a turkey in his cab and gets rid of him. Yeah, that's basically the sum of the story here. Uh, One of our road warriors is driving his uh, 18-wheeler here, and he gets in the cab of his car to find a feathered friend who doesn't belong there. Doesn't like it, throws him out the window, and let's see what happens. That's a a male. That's a big bass. That's definitely a male because he's got the things that open up. I'd fucking shoot him right in the head right now. (laughs) See that fucking turkey? I get a bow and arrow. Yeah. Yeah. Those things are scary. Oh, no. Oh, he's going to get run over here. Thank God. I'm all for so it. So the tension is killing us here. What's going to happen? Oh, he flew out the window. He's the- oh! oh! <laughs> Serves you right, you fucking interloping prick. <laughs> Should have break into a he truck. He tried to hijack truck. the fucking truck. What does he think is going to happen? That's like oh, sorry, M. Night Shyamalan directed Roadrunner cartoon. You got any turkeys where you live? Yes, lots of them. They go like fucking 10, 12 at a time. Yeah. And oh, they yeah. cross the street. The whole fucking world comes to a stop. Here's the turkeys. You go like this. I know. Mm, why you just don't want to fucking run them all over? And everybody's stopping like this. Honestly. They fucking cross the street. It, the stop and shop strike, it finally ended. If they had just gotten the turkeys, they could have stopped all traffic in the entire city. Oh, they suck. I hate them. Put some signs on the turkeys. Plus, don't you shoot turkeys? I do shoot turkeys. Yep. Really? Yep. You eat them after you shoot them? No, he no. He doesn't kill I, them. He can't kill them with a kill BB them gun. for fun? No, I, he, he use a BB gun. I... I use them for things we're not allowed to talk about on the air. Why not? Because an egg can fit in there, all right? Leave me alone. 
turkeys are no good dirty varmints. They, they really, are. They really are gross. There's I wouldn't feel bad about running I don't even like turkey. eating them on Thanksgiving. They suck. I like turkey tips. They make you tired. I'll eat them all day. All right. I prefer a nice sliced turkey from the deli. I like prosciutto. That's better. That's better. But a turkey in the oven, that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> How about when people fry them in the fry later? It's Fuck that. Oh, you know when they do that now? They change it up? Yeah, they go, oh, it's really good. Yeah. They go, it sucks. Yeah, yeah. Turkey. Get, a, get a chicken. What the fuck? It's easy. <laughs> Same thing. It takes half the time. Right. Yeah. right this, this next one's in Ohio. Wild fight breaks out between a group of women and a man. This wild video starts with a man throwing a woman to the ground. Ooh, in the that's middle of an Ohio it. That's it. Guy. Look at him. He's Look at him. He's fucking Busta Mathis. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Oh! One of the women grabs a gasoline hose. He's what down is? goes Frazier! There we go. The hoe with the hose. Oh! <laughs> Ooh! She took it hard. She Come looked, on, bitch! She Come looks on. it violent. Look at her. Is anybody curious as to what started this altercation? What started it? Hot dogs. Like, the I'm women not, were accused of stealing dog. hot dogs. Is Everybody is stealing hot dogs. Oh, see and the guy shaping up after? He's like, hmm. That's a good. She, he decked him. I mean, so the, the court case where he has to pay for her medical bill, that's worth, what, the dollar fifty in hot dogs? I'll tell you one thing. She got right up, though, didn't she? Yeah, yeah. she's been hit before. He's got no power. <laughs> <laughs> that chick got right up, not even a mandatory eight count. Yeah. That's but not the first time right she's up. been This whacked. might be a mating ritual in Ohio. I'm not sure. I think they're related. Like, there's no way that they're not related, to those people right there. Yeah. She, did she wanna... rip the gas hose off of the thing? Is it leaking gasoline somewhere? No, there's a shut off on there. I've done it before. <laughs> Why didn't... Okay, really? I yeah. can't believe nobody was oh! doused with gasoline in a match lit. Yeah. That would have been good. It's in Ohio. Don't we have someone here from Ohio? Wasn't this guy a walk-on for the Ravens? Look at the guy. Look at the guy shaping up. Oh, what a you know, tough guy. Hit... Fucking knock it wow. hitting, hitting girls. Knocked out two hoes tonight, man. I wonder what he would do to a turkey. <laughs> wow. This next one's for you, John. Look at this. Yeah. Endurance wipes can treat premature ejaculation. We found this ad on Facebook uh, earlier this week. Know. We don't know if we should buy some or call and ask to be a potential sponsor, right? This is a basically a wet nap you rub on your dick before you have sex to make you last longer. I don't want that. I don't either. Why? You want to get rid of it quick? I'm looking for two, three seconds max. I got a lot of shows to catch up on, fucking <laughs> Netflix. I don't have time for that. Bing, More bang, Netflix, boom. less chill. That's me. Yeah. Done. I don't want no one you, doing As this. you get older, do you realize you're like, you have better stamina? Can we? Can you get on all fours so we can both watch TV? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but if this, if this, if you rub it all over your dick and then it goes inside her, isn't it going to make her numb? And then nobody's going to come? Who cares about her? So this thing... Well, <laughs> then, yeah. then why are you putting it on? I don't want no nothing. You don't think like our wives want us to, you know... They used to, but now... Look, look. It's over. <laughs> I know it. I'd rather eat. Johnny's roast beef's here. <laughs> you know I could be alone in a room with that or John. I'm, I'm going for the roast beef. You, Frank. You know what the move is with this, Mother. right? You you put it on your dick, and then you make her give you head. And then the bitch can't talk for the rest of the fucking oh, night. Oh, she's like, thank you. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> you do you not me. Do you yeah. really work, Klesky, or is this just another scam? Uh, I got another 14 seconds out of him, but that doubled my time, Carl. I heard it's an infomercial for that guy, Barrett. <laughs> I, we're gonna produce it's one. Awful. We're gonna get we're gonna get these guys in here. I'm making some calls this week on this. This is guys. a good invention though, to make money. Something like this, right? Uh, Where else could you wipe them? What? What if you wipe your ass with those things? That's what I'm saying. It might make it a little bit, you Probably know, get constipated. Oh, I wasn't thinking that. <laughs> I use leaves. I gotta worry about this. <laughs> <laughs> if I pull over the side of the road for number two, I'll use a sock. Well, if a it's leaf. poison ivy, you might want one of these. I don't need any extra shit laying around. What's the weirdest thing you ever wiped your ass with? Leaves. <laughs> the first thing to go in an emergency crisis when you're bivouacking, you, you say, oh, you gotta go. No, If there's no napkins, you gotta sacrifice your socks. Yep. Number one. I've done the socks. Tube socks. You do the socks. Even one of the times. Sometimes I've left with one sock on. Really? Yeah. She just next, took it off to be even. Next to go is the underwear. Yeah, I've done that After too. that, you say, fuck it. I don't really just care. Just shit your pants and forget yeah. about it. <laughs> you just drive home and change. Change the subject? <laughs> it's a heckler. Get him out of here. I can't wait to get him out here and ask him what he's wearing. Get that guy out of here. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a quick break, and then we're going to come back with Frank, Frank Santarelli. Yeah! So owned and operated establishment that's been a staple in downtown Lynn for over 50 years. 
Whether you're looking for hard to find local and national newspapers or magazines, the greatest selection of cigars on the North Shore, or State Lottery and Kino, Cal's is there for you. Head down to 53 Central Ave in Lynn today for great selection, great prices, and award-winning service. Santarelli, everybody! Frank Santarelli! So I'm Frank Santarelli. I grew up in an Italian family, kind of strange. My mother taught me how to shave. <laughs> Don't get up. <laughs> thanks for coming, Frank. Thanks, man. How are you? It's gr I'm great. Thanks. So thanks we just saw the clips there. Now you were always taking a beating from Tony yes. Soprano. What was that like? It was great. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a stunt double? I oh, you know what? They asked me if I wanted uh, a stunt double, and I said no. So I got stunt pay. So That's you got paid good. twice. I got a thousand good? extra dollars for stunt pay. Right. I did my all my own stunts. That's good. You can tell. Do they have like a soft phone or do they just say kind of... It was a real rubber phone. All right. And they put this thing in front of me. It didn't really hit me with it. But he whacked it a couple of times. Then it broke in half. <laughs> yeah, it was funny. Did it ever hit you by accident? No. No? No. You think you could take him in a fight? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Especially <laughs> now, right? <laughs> <laughs> so were you two guys, were you two guys on any shows to, at the same time? We were in, um, in this show. We were in Meet the Parents together, but not at the same not time. Not at the same time. This show once at the same time. One one episode. We were in the same episode. Yeah. You didn't meet on the parents, but you were in Meet the Parents. No, we met at the bathhouse. <laughs> <laughs> we met in an elevator. I was in an elevator stuck with him and my daughter. My two year old daughter was in my arms. And the elevator stuck. Do you remember that? Yes. You were in the elevator with me. Yeah, that's how I met John. Trying yeah. to get as far away from someone in an elevator. Well, it just possible. stuck. It was just a weird thing. The elevator stuck. We were we were pretty scared. We were in oh, there five, five six minutes. Was it that long? It was pretty long. It seemed like it was forever. Yeah, That's I had to climb long. through the hatch right. and scale up the cable, <laughs> fifteen <laughs> floors to get help to save Frank and his daughter. He doesn't mention that. <laughs> Is that true? Is he lying? Coked up out of his mind. <laughs> <laughs> you guys never did that stuff, did you? Oh, no. I don't do no. cocaine. Let me see the faces. I don't do cocaine anymore because I finally got my teeth at the length that I wanted them. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys both were on thirteen episodes of The Sopranos. Right. He was in a whole season. Okay. It was thirteen episodes in a season, and then I was in like sixteen episodes. All dotted throughout the whole thing. It's insane. My There's no rhyme or reason. I just show up and then I'm gone for like 13 episodes. I'm not kidding. Out of the 87, I'm in like 16 episodes. Yeah. He's in 13. But By he's the end of the show, he'll have been 27. <laughs> but go ahead. You know what's funny too is like... You create such a tension in that. Like, I remember watching right. it and being like, oh, my God, he's going to fucking kill him. He's going right. to fucking kill him. And, like, just right there, I mean, it... it Even Georgie, uh, uh, Silvio says, Georgie, be quiet. <laughs> yeah. And I don't. I just keep talking. It's hard because, like, being there on set, like, you don't see it. that Like, the tension's got to be different when you're acting versus seeing it later produced. Right. Right. I can't believe I wasn't nominated for an Emmy. <laughs> <laughs> I concur. You should have been. So when the, when your Sopranos career was over, you two guys, I heard, and you can tell me, you guys hit the road together. We did. What'd you do? Gigi and Georgie. 
Oof. We would show up to uh, anything, really, a bar or something, to sell pictures of ourselves. Fucking bar mitzvahs. <laughs> <laughs> like uninvited? No, no. We did a... Um, we sell ice our... cream store in Wareham, Massachusetts, <laughs> on the Cranberry Highway. One on the where everyone showed up in character. <laughs> so guys were showing up in robes and stuff like Tony. Everybody showed up in character, and John and I were the, we sold pictures at an ice cream store. And it was an ice cream store on the Cranberry Highway. <laughs> <laughs> and I got so drunk that I passed out <laughs> at two in the afternoon. Mysteriously, you know the Sunny Liston pump when he get knocked out, people go. That's a fu- that was like Frank. And I'm at the pharmacy like two years later. I'm at a pharmacy and this girl's looking at me smiling. And she goes, I saw you on the Cranberry Highway. I go, oh my God. Yeah. Yeah, I, I've, been I I've been with this man when he's drank 17 tequilas. May I drop that? For real. <laughs> Walked away, did shows the whole day and night. That day in the afternoon he's talking about. Yeah. He has three, four beers. Suddenly, where's Frank? Knocked out. Taken to a room, taken to a hotel, unconscious. We have reason to believe I was slipped a Mickey. <laughs> really? No one Absolutely. knows. Absolutely, I'm not kidding. Because all of a sudden I was just like gone, and it's like it just didn't make any sense. Right? <laughs> so I think someone was trying to get down my pants. Was it John? <laughs> he was just legless <laughs> for no good reason. I still want to know what happened, but I guess we'll never know. But we had a lot of fun. What about Canada? Did you guys go to Canada? Oh, we went to Canada. You have to tell that because... We went to Canada and there was a guy who had a restaurant called The Sopranos. Mm. And it had the same logo and everything. And he said the day he opened up, HBO was there going, you cease and desist with this immediately or we'll sue with all of our financial powers. And the guy says, look at the sign. It didn't have the gun. For the R. That was the copyright. And the guy looked at the sign and said, close the books, thank you very much. And they walked away. Yeah. It is a word, after all. It's a yeah. word. And so, <laughs> it, if they use the logo, with it's not just a, one yeah. thing, but they didn't. Yeah. So, anyway, he's got a bar called The Sopranos. We were there for a week weekend. Yeah. We got um, into an Indian tribe. We got Saskatchewan. Into Saskatchewan Indian tribe. I mean. With everything, with the ceremony and everything. And they put robes around us. And there was a fire. And they sacrificed a human being. <laughs> it was great. Nobody had teeth. I mean, oh. for real. Everybody chain smoked. They go, what show you on? What the fuck <laughs> are you doing here? They don't even have TVs, those, those people. It right. was unbelievable. Right. We, we were there to help them promote their... Their thing and people were like Who about the ab- the absinthe. Episode. Oh, he drank absinthe. Did they burn it and everything. You I know don't what know. absinthe is, Carl? I was literally. You know, they say so and so was found in the nude. I was found in the nude. <laughs> right. The right. next morning. The next morning, I was found in the nude. How'd you look? <laughs> Very nude. He destroyed his hotel room. All by myself, like a rock star. What are you talking he about? He came in. That's I what really did. On the room, like he really did. He caused a Nikki Six. He caused a thousand dollars worth of damage to his hotel yeah. room. Uh, that's I, nothing. I, the I, little league guy <laughs> shot, used five thousand. <laughs> They paid us five Literally. grand for the gig. That's really when I left, I had a check for them. John left the hot dogs. Something. That's why. They didn't. Literally, there guys do more damage than What'd you do, John? Four grand in hot dogs. Well you know something? I have no recollection because I was on the forbidden drink absinthe. Did you guys ever drink absinthe? I, I drank a bottle. It's an illegal alcohol. It's like, it's like crack and heroin combined. I was tripping. It's incredibly I was out of I was out of my mind. So you don't even know what you did that night? I have no idea. You're All I know is Frank went to bed. now? And see an apocalypse now when they open the door and Martin Sheen standing there naked going, you going to close the door? <laughs> that was him. <laughs> do you do he it wasn't all bloody. But is it sugar cube or are you just, is it you just drink? <laughs> all I remember or? was that morning when Frank knocked on the door and I was in the nude, he came to the door. I looked at him. He had shorts on and like a soprano shirt, but he had socks pulled up to here and went, what the fuck? I said, what the fuck is this look? The socks up to here. <laughs> the poop socks. That was the one thing you remembered. I was appalled. <laughs> Seriously. What year was this? <laughs> Ten years ago. It was awful. Ten years Ten ago. Ten years ago. Are you making fun of my... You were wearing socks. You had a mid-calf sock. <laughs> like he was fucking George Gervin or some shit. What the fuck is this here? <laughs> the ice I'm out of my mind. George Gervin. <laughs> Is that a reference? Oh. Who the fuck knows who I'm, uh, I'm like this. He was the ice man. <laughs> I go. He was the ice He was a good boss. What the fuck? In the 60s and 70s, they cut the shorts way shorter and the socks way longer. Right. That's an interesting look. He was it's a high stock shifter. Yeah. So I noticed the ceiling soundproofed. Yeah, it is. Is this where I get fucking whacked? It might collapse. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, why don't you guys go on the road again? I think we're going to. We should, huh? I know. 
We, 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 had, we did, well, we did we okay. We did okay. We did okay. People would show up. They really did. Be like the two disgruntled guys from The Sopranos. Georgie and Gigi, who both got shit cans, pardon the pun. <laughs> they wanted Frank to do stuff. I don't even want to talk about it in front of a national audience. <laughs> they wanted him to do something with a horse. Tell the people. What? They want you to blow a horse? I can't really talk about Come it. on. No, I don't want no, to. No, I Use your imagination. He said no. <laughs> he don't do that with horses. <laughs> Goats, sheep, <laughs> different. What'd you guys eat for Easter? What'd you eat yesterday? What did we eat? A oh, chocolate what, bunny. What didn't we eat? What the fuck are you supposed to eat? What'd you guys eat? <laughs> A chocolate bunny and some peeps. I washed it down with some peeps. Fucking <laughs> peeps. I washed it down with Bite peeps. Bite the fucking head off. Oh, those things are nasty. Nothing like a peep stuck in your esophagus peeps. for six hours. Blow your ass. Absolutely. It's like swallowing a ball of fucking and they cotton. And they make a million dollars a day for like three days probably. Oh, How long could this possibly last? Be, right. 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 The shelf life on those things are fucking three minutes. <laughs> Same with the mic. <laughs> What was, your, what was your favorite Easter thing to eat growing up? I loved a nice pizza gina, of course. It's, uh, it wasn't the main course, but it, I always associated it with Easter. I liked the lamb. Of course, it was the Italian portion of the meal. Yeah, that's what Italians did. It was a whole Italian right. meal. Then there was a whole other meal. Everything was good. You know, antipasto. I mean, the things that you, most people wouldn't associate with. The ham, eh. I could take it a little. The ham, you didn't give All a shit about? All that stuff. Like, eh. What do we got, Klosky? You got something here? Yeah, in the 1980s, Geraldo Rivera, he unsuccessfully attempted to unearth and retrieve items from a time capsule of the famous Chicago mobster, Al Scarface Capone. Where he failed, the amazing Breaking Balls investigative team has delivered. Let's bring it out. So we have... Oh, wait, no, wait, no, have, not yet. We have Capone's time capsule here? Yeah, we have... Uh, all of our time capsules are from Italian guys, Carla. We have Joe Piscopo's. We got the kid from Jersey Shore. You want to do one of those instead, or...? No, no, I, Capone, I like Capone, mobster, Chicago. <laughs> All right. Can can Miss Monday bring bring it out? Do we have Miss Monday? Oh yes. Yeah. Miss Monday. Oh, Miss Monday. <laughs> <laughs> this not Miss Monday. This is Tasso. Miss Monday's tied up at the moment. Okay. I gotta go make sandwiches. In the base. <laughs> <laughs> well, the right. cool thing about Al Capone was he had murdered all these people or had a hand in murdering a bunch of people, and this little nerdy guy was going, um. Uh, he hasn't paid his taxes. <laughs> yeah. And everybody's going, yeah, you know, don't worry about it. Shut up. No, no, you don't understand. He hasn't paid his taxes. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. No, no, you don't understand. He hasn't paid his fucking taxes. <laughs> that means he goes right to fucking jail. That's how they got him. That's yeah, awesome. but the cops don't know the law. That's no. Right. No. No, but the little nerdy guy did. Yeah. He was trying to tell Elliot Ness, dude, he hasn't paid his taxes. Kevin Costner listens to nobody. No. <laughs> All right, so what do you want me to do? Pull something out here? Carl, let me just, crack this, out, you know we just crack this open. It smells like Parmesan and mysteries. Let's pull out the first thing from Al Capone's vault. Whoa! Oh, Whoa. That's fedora. That's pretty cool, actually. Nice. That's the man's hat right there. See, he had a condition, so he I believe he wore a hat to hide part of the condition. I, we don't need to get into it. What was okay. the condition? Uh, let's, skip a, let's skip ahead and go on to the Alopecia next thing. areata? <laughs> what, what did he have? Uh, just get in. What, what's next Damn in the? Uh, what's next in there? It's a pretty nice hat. You look like Lee Hosley and Matt Houston. Is that a? Is what that is his hair, hair piece? Is that a Did he wear a hair piece? That's a hair piece. Yeah, not not hair piece. Syphilis. He actually had syphilis. That's probably why he wore the hat and the hair piece oh. to cover up the scars and the balding. Actually, is it contagious after all these years? Oh, it was very contagious at the time. I don't know. It's he been in a sealed Hitler. bucket, so <laughs> you know. That hair piece. Uh, it keeps jingling every time well. you move the bucket. Is there something at the bottom of it or something? That's gross. Every time you move the bucket, it's making a noise. Oh, what else is in here? Bunch of broken glass. Oh yeah, you know what? Are they? Is it maybe thermometers? Yeah, I think I don't know. Yeah, they thought that mercury cured syphilis, so he was probably Who doing that. The, the people of the time, the doctors, <laughs> they probably he was Christ. probably doing shots of mercury. What the hell is this? <laughs> what the heck? It says Dylan. Well, what's McKay's it say on there? Syphilis cream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Made with gorm. <laughs> what Made the fuck? Gorm. What is gorm? gorm. It's a byproduct of ham production, actually. Really? Yeah. It's a byproduct of ham? Whatever they throw away from the hams that you that you don't want. 
So you know those cans of corned beef hash? It ain't that. <laughs> Yikes. It smells like wounded scabs. Oh, <laughs> that's got to hurt. Jesus. This, I'd be uh, embarrassed to purchase it at the pharmacy. You're right, what else we got here? viewership. Excuse me, do you have any syphilis cream? Is there anything You're else in there? You're losing viewers every second. It's like some here. shredded like W2s in here or something. <laughs> yeah. Is anyone really watching She goes to Texas. <laughs> Oh, it's a crumpled. There's a letter. You to go there's with a letter. Green. Crumpled up letter. Oh my god. Uh, this is uh. You are part uh, of the Rebel the Alliance the and a traitor. <laughs> 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 Do you guys want to read the letter from Al Capone? Sure. It says here that the syphilis is getting worse. It's all over my face. I need to cover it up. Go to the old RX and pick me up some women's makeup. <laughs> Olive oil foundation and Valentine's Day mascara. Don't mess this up. Mess Sincerely it. yours, Al Capone. For the, holy shit, I think it was an accident. What do you mean? Those are his own words? He wrote a letter to somebody to pick him up some foundation and mascara. And all those people died. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty disgusting. Shame. You are part of the Rebel Alliance and a traitor. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta take a quick break. I gotta go wash my hands, guys. Yeah, we get. Let's get him some gloves. Go? I'm gonna go wash my hands. Okay. Take a quick break. We'll All be right. back we'll in a flash. We'll be back with in a rally and fury. Yeah! Ha ha! Getting flakes down there on your Johnson? Scratch your chin, my friend. Did you just draw blood? Well, you, my friend, have got a case of the syph. That syphilis proper. Well, that love stain was a problem for your pappy. Your piss wand is privy to medicines of the new century. For a modest price, your penis may possess my apothecary cure. It's a slithery goo of nutrient-rich syphilis cream. Made of eight out of the nine components we use to put on the cow's udders when they get stiffened from the cold. Speckle some of this on the better half of the devil's brain. And you, my friend, will have smoother nuts than the clouds of heaven. Doctor recommended usage thrice per hour. Nurse's notes include vacation for masturbation. Only wilting will come from milking. And holster your gun, son, unless you want to dismember your member. A woman of age came to me with pains in her gulliver. I gave her two squags of a jang jang and half a pepper cherry pip. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, all of this and more, I promise the cure. At my humble and amazing apothecary store! <laughs> hey. 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 Welcome back. So you got a, you got a little joke for us? I do. My daughter told me this joke. She said, do you hear about the dumb blonde that went to the library? Library and said to the librarian, I'll have a cheeseburger, large fries, and a Coke. And the librarian goes, excuse me? This is a library. She goes, oh, I'm sorry, of a cheeseburger, large fries. <laughs> <laughs> so, how, why, why'd you want to become a comedian? Did you grow up in a to family make of ball people breakers? laugh? Yeah, to make people laugh. I was the class clown in high school, and um, yeah, I just wanted to make people laugh. That's what it was? That's it. No other reason. And money. Yeah. And chicks. <laughs> how'd, you, how'd you do with that? <laughs> 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 no, I just really, well, you know, I like, I love being a comedian. It's fun. But you were, lived in Ohio. I grew up in Ohio. I came here in 1985 to join the Boston comedy scene because it was the best. Yeah, yeah because there was two, it was exploding. There were seven comedy clubs, and it was amazing. There were comedy <laughs> uh, clubs and uh, colleges and uh, one nighters everywhere. Now they're so, protesting comedy clubs. I right? know. Well, How I many know. comedy clubs are there? I mean, they do it anywhere now. But Stitches and Nicks are still going. Laugh Boston. Uh, Laugh Boston, Giggles and Saugus. Uh, la uh, there's one in um, North Andover called Laugh Out Loud. Yep. Which is a sister club of Giggles, actually. Carlo, I'll uh, send you a list of all people that won't let me up. That's pretty much the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You're banned from a few places, huh? You pull your penis out once, Carlo. <laughs> is that really your name, Carlo? Yes. It's just Carlo. It's Mr. Monday, actually. No, but your real first name is Carlo. Yes, sir. That's super Italian. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what do we got, Klusky? Uh We're going to play a quick game we like to call Mob Ties. You've either all played mobsters or were born looking like one, so I think you guys should all be fine. The first one is for John Fury. 
Lucky Luciano was a notorious mob boss, king of New York. He was 19 years old, and he was petrified that his finances would be lost if he was drafted for World War One. So to attempt to dodge the draft, he contracted a sexually transmitted disease. Very proud. Uh, would you be willing to get the clap <laughs> yes. to protect your millions? Absolutely. Yeah. First of all, Italians, even though they're great one-on-one -on -one battles, they're not good in the army. The Italian <laughs> army... It's disorganized, no good. Ethiopia beat us twice. Yeah, so that tells you everything you want look to know. Look it up. <laughs> Fucking look it up if you think I'm kidding, guys. World War II. It wasn't a race. Yeah. World War II was a disaster. They don't belong in the army. The Mobs where they got to be. I don't blame them. I'm all for draft dodging and do whatever you got to do to protect your millions. Fuck everybody. <laughs> These people are saps because they risk their lives for strangers. That's, that's, that's pop talking. You're damn right it's pop talking. <laughs> How many times you got the clap, John? <laughs> no comment. After every live performance. <laughs> Come on. Um, yeah. You guys want another one? Sure. All right, this one's for Frank. Uh, Bugsy Siegel was a larger-than-life figure that is responsible for Las Vegas as we know it. <laughs> Siegel was obsessed with his looks, and as a result, he worried that his hairline was going to th begin to thin. Reportedly, he once cut off a lock of another man's hair, went home, and burned the hair in a voodoo attempt to get his hair to thicken. <laughs> Frank, if you were a young, vain, big-shot criminal and your looks started to go, would you take a drastic measure, or would you age gracefully and possibly lose your power? Tough question. For what a new the guy. fuck is wrong with you, man? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to answer that one either. Um, <laughs> would, you, would you shave my head and burn it with me? No, I wouldn't right. do that. I probably would just go old, grow old gracefully. Right. It's a dumb question. <laughs> <laughs> he refuses to partake in it, apparently. Carly, you ready for a dumb, another dumb one? Sure. You look like a mobster from The Untouchables right now, right? With the hat on? Yeah, in the 1930s, gangster John Dillinger was known as a famous bank robber and a world-class escape artist. After escaping jail, Dillinger had some plastic surgery to change his appearance. If you robbed 24 banks and just escaped to prison... Would you have any work done to blend in, or would you take your chances? I'd exile to Italy. Like, you know, okay, I mean, I'm not yeah. going to touch this face. Come on. Get some Apollona <laughs> ass. And I'd stop my own social media brand over there called Mr. Lunedì. I've never been to Monday. I've never been to Italy. Have you guys been to Italy? Yes. Oh, yeah. Do they all have Apollona nipples? Uh, I saw that the other day. Some of them. <laughs> Say it again. Not all. Is Apple it Apollonia? Apollonia. 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 Oh, right. Shit. What is wrong with you? Man? I'm Irish. I'm trying to pretend here. <laughs> You're supposed to be like the Ed McMahon person here. We <laughs> need to get your yeah. information. Yeah, guy. Ed McMahon, not <laughs> Apollonia. What the fuck is wrong with you? It's Apollonia. She was the most gorgeous woman that ever lived in the last 20 years. I don't know. Apollonia. <laughs> no, yeah, she was beautiful. She you was. thought she was better than the blonde, American blonde? Oh, way better than the. Diane Keaton? Yeah, no thanks. She just <laughs> fucking bitched the whole time. I hated her. Yeah. What about the sister? The Sunday, Monday. <laughs> oh, Ap oh. That was Apollonia. Apollonia. Yeah. From who'd the you, Godfather. Who'd you think she was talking about? A mountain? Um, Prince's girlfriend. Prince's girlfriend. <laughs> Apollonia. <laughs> Prince's girlfriend. Apollonia. It's Prince's girlfriend. So you thought From I was Purple talking Rain. about her nipples? <laughs> <laughs> yes. This is such a weird conversation. You should really apologize for calling him dumb. <laughs> Sorry. <man. laughs> I want to apologize. You only have a few of them brownies. Hey, you can make it up to me if you show me those pictures of Prince's girlfriend. <laughs> what do you got, what do you got for shows anymore? coming up? I got Giggles this Thursday. Um, the Kowloon on Route 1 on Friday and Saturday. Which we've nicknamed the Temple of Doom. <laughs> Was that like your last stop for comedians? No, no, we just no. we we work there all the time. It's one of the one of the, that's that's a comedy club. That's yeah. one of the oldest yep. comedy clubs around. No kidding. That place has been doing comedy since the beginning of time. It's a fun kidding, room too. Right. Bathroom smell all horrible. Kidding, all kidding. <laughs> the bathroom smell horrible. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm not aware of that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have to crap at your own house, like, or can you go anywhere? What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm in show business. We don't talk about that. The story. urinals are really low there, right? They're like a, a foot lower at Kowloon? Yeah. That's true. Why would you notice anything about the bathrooms there? <laughs> what is right wrong with up. you? Is this a cult? <laughs> yes, it is. You see all yes. this food and everything? You guys are all hanging out here. It's like a cult. No one's really watching the show. Everyone's on their phones talking. <laughs> They're watching the show on their phones. <laughs> 
Hey, well, thanks for coming up tonight, buddy. Hey, no problem, man. <laughs> I just have one thing. Go ahead. Do any of you guys want to sleep over? <laughs> I just want to know if you guys can sleep over my house tonight. How many can you sleep? I got room for about 11 of you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, another Monday show comes and goes. Remember, Monday's not an option. It's an opportunity. Monday on three. One, two, three. Monday! Monday!